Continuing on, CNC break number 6123. We've got the Titanium 1314 and 1516 Series 2. And I also do believe that once people start seeing something, like they might actually look at the set and be like, it's a pretty set and actually might collect it. We've actually had a few people try to go for the auto set now when Breaking Bad because of it. It does help. Game worn gear of Michael Dell's auto for the Rangers. Game worn gear. But Marvel Avengers, that's uh, that's a beast one, for sure. We've got a Metallic Marks Auto for the Minnesota Wild, Jason Zucker. And a draft position parallel rookie number to 100 for the Calgary Flames, Mark Kuneri. Because there's like legitimately some two, three, four hundred dollar cards in the Marvel Avengers. We've got number to 300 game worn gear, Ryan O'Reilly and Steve Downey. Steve Downey. We've got a game worn gear for the Pittsburgh Penguins, Paul Coffey. And we've got a metallic mark bronze auto of Zach Ronaldo for the Flyers. And and realistically, SNUS, let me put it this way. And again, I'm not saying you're you're wrong or anything close. Some people have different preferences. Like, for example, would you rather two packs of score retail? Hockey, score retail, or one or two packs of Marvel Avengers? Where you could, you could get, you know, a two three hundred dollar card autograph of like Scarlett Johansson and you know whoever's in there, or would you rather me replace it with Score Retail? Marky Rookie Robbie Fabry for the St. Louis Blues. Uh, well, the box price wouldn't be different. I'm saying if if you would you rather two Score Retail packs in there? Stefan Nason portraits. Rookies for the Anaheim Ducks. Chicago Blackhawks, Young Guns, Tanner Kiro. I would I would wager that most people would probably want to gamble with the Avengers. That would be my guess. Marky Rookie Rainbow for the Penguins, Daniel Sprung. Upper deck portrait of Colin Miller for the Boston Bruins. Actually, the one I was looking at is Aliens. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people who watched Aliens when they're uh, younger. And that box would be kind of cool. Get a Sigourney Weaver autograph. A marquee rookie, a marquee rookie for the Oilers, Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid. We've got a Young Guns for the Vancouver Canucks, Alexander Grenier. We've got a canvas of Sagan for the Dallas Stars. Game of Thrones. Yeah, that would be another cool one. We looked at maybe uh, Walking Dead as well. Taylor Hall, canvas for the Oilers. So... You'll see, it won't be anytime shortly because obviously we build them in big batches. TJ Oshi for the Capitals canvas, but you will start seeing different stuff other than Breaking Bad, so it will be pretty cool. Milan Lucic for the LA Kings OPG update. Nice, we've got for the LA Kings a UD exclusives rookie. Number to 100, Derek Forbor. UD Exclusives, Young Guns. Number to 100, Derek Forbor. The low end. <laughs> We've got a Young Guns for the Montreal Canadiens, Charles Houdon. But no, I'm, I'm also, you know, we've been doing this a while. Not everyone's going to like everything we build. We understand that. 
Joel Edmondson, retro rookie for the St. Louis Blues. Nor do I expect him to. Hey, SNU, as I said, everyone's opinion is always valid. I have no problems with that. We got a marquee rookie for the St. Louis Blues, Colton Periaco. So I appreciate you asking or even bringing it up, to be honest. We got a Young Guns, Shea Theodore for the Anaheim Ducks. We've got a game jersey for the Minnesota Wild of Grandland. Nikolai Guldobin, retro rookie for the San Jose Sharks. Matthias Janmark, portraits rookies for the Dallas Stars. We got a Young Guns for the Montreal Canadiens, Zachary Fucali. Good Young Guns box for the Canadiens, Zach Fucali. Chandler Stevenson, portraits for the Washington Capitals. Marky Rookie for the Vancouver Canucks, Brendan Gauntz. Canvas for the Wild of Grenland. And a Young Guns. For the Vancouver Canucks, Brendan Gauntz.